Hey everyone, this is Trish and welcome back to Bird Feed. Today's video is an amazing Dollar Tree shop with me and Hall for Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes, family stocking stuffers, and kids Christmas gifts. Normally I would say everything is $1.25, but the most exciting new things I found this week are actually out of the plus section. Christmas decor is starting to trickle in, but boy oh boy have they gotten in some great toys. The footage is from about four different stores throughout the St. Louis area that I visited throughout the week, and everything is only $1.25 until we get to the plus section, and I'll tell you what's $3 and what's five. They got in some of the cutest puzzle bug puzzles. As you just saw, Alice in Wonderland was so cute. Dinosaurs, under the sea, mermaids. They're just so colorful. Monsters. This one's cute, the ABCs and uh, pictures of what starts with the letter. Food. Look at how cute these puppies are in the shoes. A gnome amongst the daisies. Cake pops. Cute little duck. And a chocolate lab in a fireman's uniform. Thought that was so cute. More socks. They got in some Lion King. I think that might be Timon and Pumbaa, gremlins, oh that's the evil queen, I think I've showed that before, uh, there was a frozen that I hadn't seen before with Elsa and Snow White and of course Tinkerbell, uh, that's Animal from Sesame Street, I think I've shown that one before as well but they had some new Sesame Street characters in. This is Cookie Monster. Oscar the Grouch. More Sesame Street. Stitch. There's a couple of Stitch socks. We have a new X-Men. And a new Marvel. Winnie the Pooh. These are so cute. <laughs> you only get one pair of socks, and these are men's sizes. Fozzie. And these were mossy oak socks. These are really nice socks. Great for the man in your life, stocking stuffers, or for Operation Christmas Child adventure shoe boxes for a 10 to 14 year old boy. And then these are kid sizes, little kid sizes. And these are one pair of, uh, they're like fuzzy socks. Barbie, Ninja Turtles. These are sizes nine to two and a half. Disney Princesses, Minnie Mouse. Really nice quality socks. SpongeBob and Stitch. And of course, Spider-Man. A lot of new scunchy hair accessories. Barrettes, those are those metal snap barrettes that I like a lot. Scrunchies and claw clips, hair elastics. I saw a lot of these full-sized brand name makeup palettes and each store that I went to had a different assortment. Oh, there I am. Hey Trish. <laughs> this one is an eyeshadow palette. There were, uh, this is a highlighter palette. And there were some lip gloss sets as well. These would make great stocking stuffers or 
Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, Mother's Day gifts. This is a blush and eyeshadow kit by Bella J. The top portion is blush. And I'm doing this with one hand. And the bottom portion was eyeshadows. This one is eyeshadows with a lip gloss, I believe. Yeah. I came across this alien slingshot up by the registers. I thought it was funny. Here are some new iron-on patches. Mostly new anyway. I think the dinosaur and narwhal might be a repeat. I'm not sure. I don't think I've seen those cherries before or the cake and ice cream. The unicorn and heart I've seen before. Now in a second store, I saw these Buy Girl lip glosses by Color Co. How fun would that be to get in a Christmas stocking? Now these can't go in Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes because they're liquid. The day after my last YouTube shop with me and haul, I found these Disney and Canto seven packs of girls briefs in a size four only, and I shared it on a YouTube short. This week I found them in different stores in a size six and a size eight. These pop tube toys with suction, hands and feet are great little extra toys to fill in all those little nooks and crannies in your Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. I also found these band bracelet kits. Now, it's got a tool in there, but I'm not sure how that works, but it says it's a band bracelet kit. Has anyone tried these yet? New colorful hair coils. Those are always great items to add to a shoebox to add color and fun. More makeup palettes in yet another store. This one is an eyeshadow kit by Later Hater. I don't know where they come up with these names. And another highlighter kit by Light FX. Looks similar to another one I showed from the first store, but this one is different. They've gotten in some new uh, Disney hardcover books for kids. This one is Planes, and I saw Frozen in another store. A new Crown Jewels advanced color by number. This one is Beautiful Animals and I saw Under the Sea. Some new fun and colorful puzzle erasers. These are so cute. The makeup, llama, parrot, koala, sloth, monkey. Music and karaoke themed unicorns, sushi, and musical instruments. These are so cute. Okay, here are the new plus section toys that I was so impressed with. Look at these big Make It Blocks sets. 299 pieces for these race cars. There's four different colors, blue, orange, red, and white. And they're all around $299, $298 pieces for $5. There was also this fire truck with a figure, 222 pieces. And this is a police vehicle, but it looks like an RV to me. Those were all $5. These next few kits are $3, 142 pieces. That was a burger stand. And this is 213 pieces for a car and figure. This one is a gas station, I think, 126 pieces. I thought this dyno truck was pretty cool. This one's $5, and both sides of the truck lift up to reveal the dyno cargo. They had a transformer. This one was Megatron, yeah, Megatron. That was $5. And this dinosaur monster truck twin pack 
was one of my favorites in two different colors for five dollars also five dollars is this two-pack friction powered off-road trucks these are good sized trucks and nice quality you can split these up for your wow items in two different boxes and you can do the same with the dyno trucks I was trying my best to stick to items that didn't require batteries, but this train set for $5 I thought was great. Requires two AA batteries. The same with this stunt vehicle. It requires batteries for the lights and sounds, but the car can still be enjoyed without the use of the batteries. More Mega Block sets. These are landmarks. This one is a landmark in Berlin. We have the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge, and these are $3. Venice and Tokyo. These lights and sounds dinosaurs for $5 also take batteries, but those can be a great wow item in a younger kid's shoebox. We had a T-Rex, Stegosaurus, and a Triceratops. I was surprised to see the Zuru Sparkle Girls at Dollar Tree. Those are $5 each. And this 12-inch soft-bodied baby doll with accessories I thought was a good price for $5. It's very good quality. I really liked these small Sparkle Girls dolls with the little unicorn by Zuru and are $3. They are the same size and quality as a Chelsea doll. I thought this Pony Family was a great price for $3. Mama Pony and two babies and accessories. Then they had an 18 piece tea set for $5. Tea sets are always fun for the little girls and this would make a great Christmas gift as well. I thought these foam blocks were fun and colorful 34 pieces for $3. And the last items I'll show you from the bonus section are these sparkling paper dolls. They're magnetic. These are princesses, and you get two princess cutouts and two sets of outfits. These could easily be split up into two shoe boxes as well. Then there is Barbie, and there's also LOL. These are all $5. Back to the regular $1.25 items and more socks. The Haribo I thought was so colorful and fun. Jelly Belly, Pepsi, Mountain Dew, Pringles, Bazooka. I thought these travel brush kits were nice, colorful and compact. I saw them in pink and that lime green. Those are by Sassy and Chic. More lip gloss sets in yet another store. These are by Color Co. And another lip gloss set, Lux Lips by Style Essentials. And another really pretty eyeshadow palette by Clunk. Klein, Kenzie? I can't really read the first word on the brand, but those are pretty colors. And again, these are all $1.25. Then I came across this Alice's Wonderland Bakery body sponge. Another cute stocking stuffer. I've been seeing loads and loads of new books. If you've got readers in your family, and new Alice's Wonderland Bakery counting cards. These little zippered wristlet bags showed up in some new prints and solids. The burgundy and the tan. And in another store, what is this, four stores now? Four or five, I saw these clean color eyeshadow palettes in two different color collections. So let's take a look at what I got. I didn't pick up a lot of items. I tell you what, it was so tempting, but I've completed my Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes for the year. So I don't 
need anything for this year's shoe boxes. Um, but I've also already started putting together my collections for next year, starting with what I've got in my stash. And I know there are certain things I need to fill in or complete those shoe boxes. And those are the kind of things that I'm looking for. In addition to items for my pencil pack fillers, which we'll start with. I picked up cap erasers because I didn't realize how low I was on them. And man, you can't beat this. 60 cap erasers for $1.25 in the colorful jot erasers. Uh, they normally come in 40 and I see that I accidentally grabbed a pack of 40. I can't believe I did that. So I intended to buy four packages of 60 each. And I see that I grabbed one that is 40 accidentally. And this is how they normally come throughout the year. They have these all the time. But during back to school, they started packaging them in packages of 60. So <laughs> the next time I go, I'll just bring this back and ask them if I can swap it out for a 60. But uh, it's not really that big of a deal, but I would like to get 60 if they have it. So uh, it must have been on the same peg. So if you're buying multiple packages, make sure you're grabbing all 60 pieces. Then in the same eraser vein, these aren't necessarily for my pencil pack fillers that I'm putting together for Operation Christmas Child. Uh, these are for shoe boxes. These are some of those cute 3D erasers. I couldn't help myself. These are just adorable. Look at that. I just think it's so cute. The presentation is really cute too. So it's a little purse, sunglasses, a makeup brush, a lipstick, and a compact. That was one of them. And I had to get the musical instruments. Those are so cute. We've got a saxophone, an electric guitar, drums, maracas, and a piano. And then these are music as well, but more on the listening to music and karaoke. Uh, style. We've got a karaoke microphone, a cassette. I bet some of you out there don't even know what a cassette is. We've got a boom box and that looks like a cell phone. So I grabbed those. I did pick up uh, one each of the new Crown Jewels Advanced Color by Number coloring books. Anytime I can find advanced coloring books for boys and girls, I'll grab one or two of them. And I just thought the images in these were fantastic. That's the wild animals. I like to put these in the older kids' boxes. And it's not that easy to find the advanced coloring books in this price range. Really, Dollar Tree is the only place I can find them in my area. I can't get them at Dollar General or Five Below, Walmart, any of those places that we normally find coloring books for a dollar. So I'm happy to pay the dollar twenty-five for them. So that's the Under the Sea coloring book. I also grabbed a puzzle. Now, I do not need this puzzle, and I don't need Alice in Wonderland. I've done Alice in Wonderland themed shoe boxes in the past, but I don't have one going on this year, but I just thought this puzzle was adorable. It is so cute. Look at that. I thought all the puzzles were really, really cute. So I picked up a 100-piece Puzzle Bug puzzle that can go in any shoe box. I did get uh, one of the Disney Frozen hardcover books. This is Wonderful World, World of Reading. I showed you the one that was 
planes. I might even go back and get that one. But great images, a few words. So if they can't read English, they just have to enjoy the pictures. And I think they will. All kids love to look at colorful pictures of different stories and they'll make up their own story if they can't read the book. I picked up a couple of pairs of socks, the Elsa pair, and that's for a shoe box that I've packed this year. And another Ninja Turtles. I grabbed one of these so a couple of hauls ago and I was looking for another pair because I didn't realize I needed two when I got that one. Um, so I finally found another pair. So I grabbed those. And then I also picked up more of the fashion and fun doll clothes that fit Barbie. The last haul I did, I had picked up this dress and I think a black one. And I really love the way this one fits Barbie and it also fits the Hair Amazing dolls. And I have uh, one of those boxes of seven dolls and they all need extra outfits. So this fits her well and I'm hoping that this one, the gold LeMay one will, this is a different one that I found, the little purple one and this red one. As a matter of fact, let me try them on for you. So here is the green dress on the Hair Amazing doll. And the, the biggest difference between the Barbie dolls and the Hair Amazing dolls is the Hair Amazing dolls have wider hips and a narrower torso, rib, rib cage and around the middle. So this is a little bit big on her, but y y you know, it's really great for a doll dress. And so if you've got Hair Amazing dolls and you need extra clothes, some of these dresses are gonna fit. So that's the green dress. Here is the purple dress. Fits her nicely. The straps are uh, big, but again, I think it works. Her hips are big enough that you can't really pull the dress down so that her chest pops out. But I think that fits her very nicely. And here is the red velvet dress. Now this one doesn't have Velcro in the back, but it's, it's stretchy and it just pulls up over her hips. It has a slit there. The other two have uh, Velcro closure in the back. So that one fits her nicely. The other thing about these Hair Amazing dolls is they have huge feet. So Barbie shoes do not fit them. So it's great if you can find an outfit that works with her shoes. And I think these gowns do. And then the last dress is a little bit big. Uh, on the bodice for her. I mean, again, you can't really pull it down once it's attached in the back because of her, her hips being on the bigger side, but it is, uh, it's quite big. Now, I could probably, with my sewing machine, take a couple of darts on the side and make it a little bit trimmer for her. I might try that if I decide to use it for a Hair Amazing doll. Otherwise, it'll fit Barbie fine. It'll be a great dress for Barbie. So that's how those dresses fit. So I was really pleased with these. Then the last few things I picked up are for my household or for me personally or my grandkids, not for Operation Christmas Child. I grabbed some of these hosted compostable cups. They're cold cups and they're like plastic cups. Let me go ahead and open this so you can see them. So I'm not exactly sure how they are compostable, but that's what it says. They have kind of a fern or palm leaf design around them 
and I don't normally use disposable pla plastic cups, but they're nice to have on hand. Uh, I've, I've wanted to grab for some for different reasons, and I don't have any, so I picked up one of these. You get 20 cups, 16 fluid ounce cups. This packaging is compostable, compo compost me with the cups. So I don't know how you compost plastic, but evidently they must be made out of some material that is compostable. And I saw this aluminum foil, 40 square feet. So it's got 40 feet of aluminum foil on here, which is a lot for the Dollar Tree at $1.25. So I picked up one of those. I grabbed this uh, Mott's 100% apple juice in the three-pack juice boxes for when my grandkids come. I like to have those, so that's a good price, $1.25 for three of those. I picked up a staple for my pantry, and that's these Stauffer's chocolate animal crackers. They're my favorite snack, low calorie snack, low fat, low calorie, of course, definitely got carbs, but, and then I grabbed another book. There, there are so many books that I'd like to buy, but so far I've got three that I have yet to read, maybe even four, uh, but I did pick this one up. It's the Noel Letters. I got this because I thought it'd be fun to read it at Christmas time. This is from the New York Times best-selling author of The Christmas Box and Noel Street. It's a novel by Richard Paul Evans. So I picked this one up and this was regularly $21.99. So I grabbed another book for me. So that, my friends, is my small haul. I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you really enjoyed that shop with me. I thought there were some fantastic new items at the Dollar Tree for your family or for your shoe boxes, whatever. And that's the reason I do such a detailed shop with me because I don't necessarily always need the items and I, I don't buy it if I don't need it but I want you to see it. So thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye now.